Cumin Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm making this delicious liver. So I've got about one and a half pounds of fresh beef liver. If you can get hold of calf liver, that's much better. It's more tender. So the most important thing that I'm going to do first is to remove this casing. This is a very hard membrane that is not pleasing to chew. So you want to remove this first. So I'm using my paring knife to just get a head start and you just want to pull it just like that. Uh, it's a bit slippery, but it can be done. You know, if I can do it, you can do it too. All right, so we're just going to pull it just like that. There you go. And then after that, you can flip it over and see if you may need to do the same thing at the bottom. All right, I've got some fat over there that I need to get rid of. And so I'm going to start by slicing this. Now, as we all know that liver is one of the most nutritionist meat out there. It's part of an organ, but it comes, it's categorized as the meat. Uh, it's got a very high content in iron and it's got a lot of other benefits as well. I used to cook this at least twice a month and then I don't know what happened. I've stopped. Now I need to go back to it. So I'm just going to remove all those waste. Now for today, I am going to cube mine into medium-sized pieces, simply because when you have them too small, uh, you tend to overcook them and then you lose the texture of the liver. And when they're too big, of course, uh, they get too tough. You know, it's hard to cook. So a medium size like this is fine for me. So I'm going to soak this in milk. You could use, uh, you could use milk or lemon or vinegar, whatever works for you. Now the milk... What it does is it removes those extra toxins that cannot be washed away just with water. And also it reduces that metallic taste, you know, because this has got a uh, uh, high content in iron. Now I'm going to work with the rest of my ingredients. I've got my fresh ginger and garlic there, which I'm going to make a nice fine paste. So I've cut them in small pieces. I like to use a lot of fresh ginger and garlic paste in this because, you know, I other than flavors... You know, it also helps to reduce the, uh, the smell, All right? So I added about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and I've got a nice paste over there. So now I'm ready to rinse the milk away, I mean wash it out. Now all the professional chefs will tell you to soak this in about one and a half hours to two hours, but I like to do it only 15 minutes and then I will marinate it with lemon for longer time so that way my lemon and the rest of the spices will really really penetrate through and also tenderize uh, the liver all right this is how i like to do it you can do it however you like it so i've got one teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of black pepper you can add more or you can reduce however you like it and about a tablespoon of fresh ginger and garlic paste and about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to squeeze in some lime. You can use lemon, you can use vinegar, however you like it. And then I'm just going to mix this well, cover it and keep it in the fridge for about one and a half hours, one and a half to two hours. All right. This is why I don't do two hours with milk because milk and lemon work the same way. All right, so now I'm ready to cook and I've got two tablespoons of vegetable oil there. And uh, please make sure that the liver is out from the fridge at least 10 minutes. You don't want to cook it when it's too cold. So I added about one cup of uh, chopped onions. I'm using white onions. You could use yellow or red, whatever you prefer. And you're just going to saute this for about three to four minutes. Please make sure that the heat is on medium. And then after this, we're going to add about uh, half a teaspoon of um, coriander powder and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. You can add more if you want. That's fine. And uh, just sauteing this for about two minutes to release all those aromas and also make sure that your spices are well cooked before you add the fresh ginger and garlic paste. And then I add about two teaspoons of fresh ginger and garlic paste. I know it's a bit a lot, but I like it this way. You can reduce it if it's a bit too much for you. Okay, then we're going to saute that also for about two minutes. Please make sure that you do not burn the garlic. All right. And then after this, I added about uh, three 
chopped tomatoes, medium size, that's about one cup. Now you can add more tomatoes or you can do less. It depends on the kind of thickness you're looking into your sauce, all right? You can also use tomato paste if you want, that's fine. And I cook that for about uh, seven to eight minutes until you get something like this. And then now I'm ready to add the liver. Okay, so make sure that it's out, it's not too cold. And so we just saute this for about five minutes. And then I actually added about uh, half a cup of water. I don't know what happened. And then cover it and simmer it for about 10 minutes. Now after 10 minutes of simmering, I'm going to add my vegetables. I like to add the vegetables later at this point because I don't want the vegetables to be overcooked. You know, I like them crunchy and also to retain those uh, nutritions that we're after. All right, so I just used uh, yellow, orange and red bell peppers and uh, onions again. Or you can use whatever you want, or if you don't want, you can omit that as well. And so then I um, add some salt. Make sure you taste before you add the salt. And also some black pepper. Mix it well. I forgot my green chili. This is just for colors and aromas, not for the heat. And then I covered it and simmered it for about five minutes. So at this point, now you can see if you need to add anything else, please go ahead. And we just wanna check if the um, liver is well cooked. Okay, it's, it's quite tender, but I would like to cook it further for about three more minutes. Okay, so I just covered it and uh, let it cook for about two to three minutes. And that's about it. It's very easy and this is very flavorful. And then now I'm just adding some cilantro for some extra colors and aromas and flavors. This is optional, but I just love cilantro in the liver. All right. So we're ready. What are we just gonna serve this? See how beautiful this is. Oops, my green chili. This is supposed to be on the top. Okay, so as you can see, some beautiful colors there. We've got some orange, some yellow, some green, some red, and it's smelling amazing. Now, in the Swahili world, we usually serve liver with meat. I mean, sorry, with chapati or rice, or what else? But I know in the Western world, they use it with mashed potatoes. I do it with mashed potatoes, but not with this recipe. All right, so we're going to garnish it with some more cilantro. And that's it. So I'm going to serve mine, as you can see, with some chapati. And if you want to know how I make my chapatis, I will put the link in the description box below. And also I made some dal well that's about it so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at aroma zanzibar and you'll find all the ingredients and measurements in the description box below